guys, my name is Lucy and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me in this video and if you'd like to see any more of my videos, please do hit subscribe, it would really mean the world to me. For today's video, I'm going to be going with a classic drama school review video. So, I have done two of these videos before I think for my first term and second term in first year. I've currently finished my first term of second year at Erdang, which is crazy, which technically means I'm halfway through my training, which makes me feel a little bit sick, so I just try not to think about it. But I thought I would go through this term with you guys, just chat about how I found it, what I feel I've learnt, all those kind of things, because I know you guys enjoy hearing about it. If you do enjoy this video, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know, and don't forget to leave a comment down below with any of your thoughts and maybe questions or anything you want to see from me in 2020. Also, in case you're interested, the top I am wearing is my new favourite t-shirt. It is my black Com de Garçon t-shirt that I got for Christmas. If you do want to see what else I got for Christmas, I'll be sure to link it down below in the description box for you. Also, as I'm in Dubai, I'm filming with natural light, so it might come in and out, but hopefully it should stay. As always, I'm going to split this video into sections. I'm going to split it into singing, dancing, acting, and academics. Now, let's get the bit that most people find boring out of the way, which is academics. So, this term, I don't know if choreography counts as an academic module, but I'm going to do it under this one because it doesn't fit into the other three titles. So, we did a module called Performance Culture this term, which I absolutely loved because we all know I'm a bit of a nerd, but basically, we learned about different theories and different theorists and how you could analyse musical theatre work. So for example, we learnt about narratology, we learnt about the body, we learnt about cultural materialism, we learnt about Marxism, all these kind of different ways that you could analyse a piece of theatre. So basically we learnt a different theory every week and then you had to choose one theory and apply it to a certain musical and write an essay on it. That essay is due in January, I finished mine before Christmas because I did not want to have to deal with that over Christmas. So yes, that is all and it was a 2,500 word essay so not too long either. I personally found this module really interesting because I chose cultural materialism so a lot of it was about history and that's the kind of thing that I enjoy. I thought it was really good that we could choose what theory you want to write on because it means you can write on the one that you find interests you and that you're happy to research further. The next thing that we did for academics but this isn't really academics in terms of writing, it just doesn't fit into one of the other brackets, was choreography. So as you probably know I don't like choreography, I hated choreography in first year, however in second year I actually loved it. In second year you have to create a musical theatre piece for a group, this can be a group between two to eight people I think, and you have to create a piece of choreography that could fit into that show if that makes sense. So I didn't mind too, you could drive a person crazy from company with four of my friends and I absolutely loved it. We had a really fun time and I actually enjoyed the creative process and I think it was maybe because I was choreographing for a group instead of a solo and I had a firm story to go on, a firm style to go on and yeah, I just absolutely loved this module. So on to singing, because I'm gonna say this is kind of a big one for this term. So I've written notes on my phone for the other modules because I don't want to forget stuff. For singing this term, the first half was American Ballads. Absolutely love that. I love singing American Ballads. Don't really have much more to say about that. For the second half of the term, however, was a bit more challenging because it was pop rock. So that title just put the absolute fear in me because I would not class myself as a poppy singer. I wouldn't class myself as a rocky singer. I've had classical training my whole life. I've only really done musical theatre and classical stuff. So those two things are not going to be my strength, pop and rock. So I was very nervous about this term. However, once I just threw myself into it and all my teachers have been incredible, I think the teachers this term were super, super aware that a lot of us had never done pop rock before and they were so good. And now I feel I have so much advice from them that I have like all written down in a big list in my notebook that I can refer back to if ever I need to pick a pop rock song for an audition. I also feel this term allowed me to realise how valuable pop rock is to me in this industry. So at this point in time, the stuff that's in the West End is very, very poppy. And we've been told that the majority of the time for the stuff that's in the West End at the moment, if you're going to be auditioning, it's probably going to be a pop song because it can show off your personality. It can show off different styles that you can do. And I just think I've really learned this term how valuable it is. And also that you don't have to sing a pop song like a pop star, if that makes sense. And same with rock. You don't have to sing it like you're a rock singer. If you guys do want a whole video on pop rock, please do let me know because I know I really could have done with that before this term for someone to just tell me that it's going to be okay. 
So the sun is deciding to set very quickly. So if the lighting keeps changing, I'm really sorry. So on to acting, I think I'm gonna talk about next. So this term in acting, as you guys know, I'm track C. I'm thinking of doing a video on tracks because loads of you guys asked me about this and I honestly think it is one of the best things that Erdang do. So if you do wanna see that video, let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up to let me know. So acting has been really good this term. I had a really good fun term in acting. So this term for our assessment, I am gonna be doing a whole assessment video, but for the acting assessment, it was a play, a whole play, which I haven't done, I think, since maybe like year 11 at school. So we did the play, Our Ladies of Perpetual Sucker, which is actually set in Scotland. So we all did Scottish accents, which was great for me because I obviously used to have a Scottish accent, so I can flip into it quite easily, as you guys have seen when I accidentally flip into it in the vlogs. I love doing this play. It was with a really great group of girls, and we just put our absolute heart and souls into this play with the costume, the set, with everything. We did so many extra rehearsals, and I just think it was amazing, and because we were also invested in it, it was so much fun and such an incredible experience. I think that is actually it for acting, and then dance, as always, I'm gonna split it into the different like types of dance and go through them for you. So for ballet this term, ballet was absolutely fine this term. We had two lessons of it a week and yeah it was good. I enjoy ballet. It's good fun. I'm never going to be a ballerina but I really see the value of it for technique and I really see how my strength and everything in ballet helps me in other dance styles so I really think it's very beneficial. I wasn't assessed in ballet this term as we got to choose what dance we wanted to be assessed in as Traxies only choose one dance syllabus to be assessed in and I did not choose ballet. Tap this term was interesting. So I did find tap this term quite hard. Originally in first year, we were in five sets for tap and I was in set three. So very like middle of the road, which I was super happy with considering before I came to Erdang, I'd only started tap when I was on foundation at GSA. However, when I moved into track C, there's only two sets for tap. So there's a top set and a bottom set and I'm obviously right in the middle. So I got put in the top set, which I was obviously very grateful for. However, the push was a lot because I was tapping with people who were in set one and two in first year and also people that have literally been tapping since they were three. So I found this term very challenging in that sense that I felt I was lower down in the class. However, it was really good to push me and to get me to do things that I wouldn't have done if I was in the lower set. And thinking back to first year, I really now can look back and see that I have improved so, so much this term in tap and I'm so grateful for that. On to contemporary. Oh, also I wasn't assessed in tap. I was toying between tap and jazz for assessments, but I did end up choosing jazz in the end. I'll talk about jazz last because I did the assessment for it. For contemporary, contemporary was also fine. We only had one contemporary a week this term. I enjoy contemporary as a lesson. It's good fun. However, I'm not sure I will ever go down the contemporary dance route. That's really not the right thing for me. However, it is a good, enjoyable lesson. On to jazz. Jazz is what I was assessed in this term. And it was a big decision for me to choose jazz because I'm not a technical jazz dancer. I would say I'm more MT jazz. I can give you full performance, but technique. I have good foundation of technique, but I've not got my leg here and I'm not doing 700 pirouettes. That's just not the way I'm built to dance. So I'm super glad I chose jazz this term because I feel it really pushed me and it really um, challenged me and allowed me to work on my jazz and also prove to myself that I could do it. If you'd asked me in first year, would I be choosing tech jazz for my assessment in second year? I would have said absolutely not. So I'm really proud of myself that I chose it. I came in so much for extra practice. So my camera battery just died. But anyway, I was talking about jazz and basically just all in all, I'm really glad that I chose jazz. I'm really glad that I challenged myself and I really feel like I've seen improvement because of it. That is everything for this term. Overall, I do feel this is the term that I've seen the most improvement in myself that since I've started at Erdang. And I don't know if that's just because I'm in second year and everything kind of settled since first year or I don't really know but I've absolutely loved this time I've had the best best time ever and I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing it with loads of vlogs and stuff and I can't wait to vlog more in 2020 thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will hopefully see you again soon bye <laughs>